welcome to Seeing Through Glass and welcome back to Monaco with my Ferrari 360 Modena. Now, long-term subscribers may remember that I started my channel with these videos called Povlogs. Essentially, it saw me driving a car around town with a camera strapped to my face, filming everything point of view whilst I tried to spot as many supercars as possible. I don't remember the last time I filmed a Povlog, but some of my best were done here in Monaco. So now that I'm back, and I'm back with a Ferrari, it felt like the perfect opportunity to reinvigorate the Povlog series and check out what's going on around town. Now I do have a few confessions to make. Firstly, it's five o'clock. Um, today has been our first day down here in Monaco and I spent the morning editing the video from, oh my God, aggro speed bump. The 360 is deceptively low. Uh, I keep scraping it in weird places. It doesn't look low, but then I keep hearing it go crack. So I'm now taking speed bumps very carefully. But yes, I spent most of the morning editing yesterday's video. Oh, AMG GT spotted. Oh, now there's a good looking guy. That's a, now that's a new added bonus of this part of Monaco. Now you will notice there is a ton of construction in Monaco. So lots of places look very ugly, but there are also sort of new road layouts. And as you've just seen, new things like lovely mirrors so that drivers such as myself can look at themselves as they drive through hideous construction sites. But yes, don't know if you saw it, there was an AMG GT along there. Paul Wallace is cruising around somewhere uh, in his C63 AMG and he's been sending me pictures of some of the insane whips that are out and about, including a Lamborghini Miura SV. Now, there you go, she's looking at me going, why the guy has that guy got a camera strapped on his face? That is a unique part of Povlogs. The reactions you get from people when they see you have a camera on your face is interesting. But yes, Lamborghini Miura SV, that is top of my must-see list today. I will be furious if Paul Wallace sees that car, and I do not, because even though it's a Lamborghini, and he's a big fan of all things Lamborghini, he is not a fan of classics, so it's truly wasted upon him. Oh, GT3 RS, lovely, lo oh, camo AMG, dem whips. Things are getting going, people. It looks like a sort of French Barack Obama. Look, can you see that guy? Something I wasn't really expecting was the toll that the hills of Monaco would take on my car. Single plate clutch, obviously, in the manual box 360 Modena. And it's being fairly beaten up by some very low speed hills. A lot of first and second gear and riding the clutch. So yeah, hope you survive. Apart from that, got the aircon blasting because it's actually quite muggy here. It's not particularly sunny, but it's muggy. Oh, oh, he's got an engine light. That is my first engine light of the trip. And I'm telling you right now, it's because I'm in slow moving traffic. Now, if you're new to Monaco spotting, hotels are some of the best places to see supercars. That is the Hermitage. I can't see anything there at the moment, so we will continue. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have an engine light. I am totally unbothered by it, but uh, I have noticed it. Rolls-Royce Phantom, Continental GT Convertible with a blue livery. Oh, MG GTR. Get all oh, British plate. Get in, son. That was lovely. 458 G Wagon. Come on, Casino Square. What else are you going to deliver? Uh, oh, Shmi, Shmi, is that you? Cerulean Blue LT Spider. That was lovely. Oh, and we've got a rip-off Paul Wallace. C63 AMG. Come on, that really, that felt like a blast from the past in that Cerulean Blue 675 LT. If you don't know, Shmi 150, big automotive YouTuber, and used to own, oh, Performante. He didn't used to own a Performante, but there's a very, oh, you're not gonna be able to pick that up on camera, I don't think, but there's a very nice satin gray Huracan Performante being followed by a Cayman. Snuck up there. Oh, this is good. You know, I was a little nervous. It not quite being top marks yet. We're a couple of weeks away from the famous top marks when Monaco turns into supercar heaven. That I wasn't really sure what was gonna be out and about and it's April and it's not a particularly nice day, but we're seeing some cars already, people. 
Now, if you're wondering what this is, by the way, this is my phone mount, magnetic phone mount. They're available on the STG shop. So if you haven't been there before, I'll put a link below. So yeah, sorry if that's getting in your way, anyone, but that's what it is. Right, back down towards the hairpin. Uh, famous Fairmont Hotel often has nice cars in and about. Somebody's gonna take a photo of me with the camera on my face. That's not gonna turn out particularly well for anyone. Oh, nice, another, oh, is that the same AMG GT? He's doing laps like me. Um, Go for a cheeky overtake. Oi, 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 oi. Probably a little bit illegal, but you gotta do what you gotta do when you're filming a povlog. Well, that's quite nice. Is that a GL? Oh, that's a GLC 63 Coupe. I think it's the S as well. I'm obsessed with the standard SUV. I think that's so cool. And it's got the grill like we're gonna do lap for that. That looks awesome. Got a Turbo S creeping through the trees. I don't know if you've been able to see that. Sometimes I can see things better than this camera can, so apologies if I'm saying stuff and you're like, what's he talking about? We've got a Phantom Drophead Coupe. Can you see it? It's got a blue roof and it's got the white wall tires. <gasps> yes, son, yes. Well, right, I'm doing a lap because I want to see that Mercedes. Now, here we go, look at this thing. Monaco plates. Is it the S? I'm pretty sure it's there because it's got that spoiler on the back. Yes, GLC 63S. What a thing. I don't really like the coupe, but the standard SUV I think is a beast. Rival to the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, all those kind of things. What's everyone looking at? At Ferrari, anything lurking at the front? Oh, there's an 812 in there. Oh, and a very nice 488, but there's an 812. <gasps> now, Paul Wallace has told me that there are a few 812s knocking around in Monaco itself, and if I saw one driving, I might have an accident in my pants. Okay, here we go, F1 tunnel, obligatory sport button on, window down, I'll do that one over there so we don't get too much interruption. Build up the revs and a little... <laughs> Nothing too much, we're not gonna go wild. We're here to make a povlog, not an exhaust review. That is coming soon. Oh, SLR, oh, that is nice. That is, oh, I just love the SLR. I feel like that is an undervalued car right there. They are going for around, I don't know, 250, 300 grand, left-hand drive in the UK. What a stunner. Yes, cruising, cruising. Oh, 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 Testarossa? No, three, three, four, eight. We've got a Ferrari, it's Ferrari gang, people. Ferrari gang. Is he coming this way? Don't think he is, no, he's turned off. What a gim. There's a FF, I think, coming up behind us, a white FF I've just spotted in my rear view mirror. Hopefully he'll catch up with us, but very nice to see. Sorry, I can't stop, my clutch won't take it. <laughs> Most people just looked at me as I just drove straight through a pedestrian crossing, but my clutch is getting enough abuse at the moment. Oh, oh, look at that color on the Aventador Roadster. That is lovely, that's like a, a ruby, ruby red. That is stunning, and I do now have that white Luso right behind me. <laughs> it's definitely one of the best parts about Monaco is all the tunnels. No matter what car you're in, it's just, you just can't help but do that, surely. What is this? What is this? The Est Estera, Estima? I mean, I kind of love it. Right, I just thought I would pull over so we can check out what this uh, engine light actually is because, as I say, I'm pretty sure it's nothing to be concerned about, but whilst cruising around town, we might try. This is my OBD reader, which I got off Amazon. It just goes into a little slot under the steering wheel. Apologies for the dodgy angle. Right, that's in. Now I get my phone. 
And as you can see here, zero trouble codes. So obviously the OBD reader is not going to be precise. It was nine pounds off Amazon, but it's pretty good because it tells me that that engine light was triggered by just something in the moment. It could have been the fact that I was on a hill. <laughs> it could have been the fact that something was hot, something was cold. However, what I'm going to do is simply reset it. So um, turn that off. This right here is to disconnect the battery. That little light goes off and it's disconnected. So we just got to wait for five minutes or so. I'll reconnect the battery, hopefully start the car and the engine light should be off, which means there is nothing permanent. But yeah, here we are, Monaco. Oh, oh, is it A12? Oh, oh, please be the A12. Yes! Oh, it's an A12 on the move. Oh my God, sex we everywhere. Oh, and look at the, oh no, I thought the plate was SF, super fast, but oh, windows down. I mean, he's in Monaco, so I doubt he's gonna start pushing it very hard. Everyone likes to cruise in Monaco, but I am obsessed with these cars. In my mind right now, if you had 250 to 300 grand, this is one of the best cars, if not the best car you could buy. It is so complete, such an all-rounder and so quick. I was lucky enough to go on the press drives for it um, last year, but oh, seeing it now on the, oh, it's just stunning. Yes, oh, what is that? That is something a little bit wacky and crazy over there. But 812, super fast, winning my first one on the road. What a stunner. Well, we've got a, an AMG GTC as a late addition to Casino Square. It's nice with a red roof, satin silver with a red roof. That is lovely jubbly. 720S in a kind of off-white, grey, whitey type colour with then the uh, the glass roof. I haven't seen many 720Ss on the road, personally. I've really come round to them after not really liking them originally. I'm starting to really like the looks, at least. Oh, goodbye, Mr. 720. Oh, he's picking up his mate. That's a pretty cool pickup. That's a, they look terrifyingly young. Classic Monaco. Well, I think that probably it's going to be the end of the video because I've been doing quite a few laps now and there doesn't seem to be a ton of other cars coming into town. I kind of keep seeing the same cars over and over and again, which I can't complain about because they're very nice cars and I'm enjoying just driving my 360 around town, but I do need to get some sleep. So yes, I'm going to end the return of the Povlog. I hope those of you that have missed the Povlog have enjoyed it being back for this Monaco special. Um, and there is plenty more craziness still to come from this week. We are only just getting started, so make sure you're subscribed, make sure you are following the future adventures, and I'll catch up with you very, very soon.